off to toast tonight with Paddy. I've just rubbed him down, got him ready. He's uh, as ready as he's going to be. I mean, we've, we've, you know, we've galloped him enough now and uh, he's come off fine every time. So it's now it's time for him to get on the track. It's a bit worrying. I'm, you know, I'm a bit nervous about it all, but I think he'll be all right. I really do think he's going to be all right. So uh, he, hopefully he's over his injury, but um, his fingers crossed and we'll see how he goes tonight. Back at Toaster tonight for Paddy's hand slip trial. Um, really nervous, really nervous for him. It's been a what he's been off for a long time and just hoping he comes off safe and sound. Fingers crossed, eh? Well, the good news is he isn't injured. The bad news is he didn't get to trial. The reason he didn't trial is because he was out, I was queuing up to go down and he's out of, uh, out of date in his inoculation and I wasn't told, so one of them really disappointed but what do you do you just got to crack on ain't you i'll be back uh, obviously early early next week hopefully the weekend i don't know i'll have to speak to the racing office but it's a bit disappointing that he doesn't get to trial but one of them can't do much about it watch it watch this you're gonna like this one back on. <laughs> Both of them straight in the mag box with the bones. They look, they love a bone. The dogs do love a bone, and, it, and it's really good for them because it helps clean the teeth as well. So they get nice clean teeth, which uh, which is always a bonus. I was saying earlier about the advantage of uh, of bones. Uh, see how clean the teeth are, lovely and clean. Look, these teeth. <laughs> I'm trying to show you. Look, look, look. Nice clean teeth. Look at that. Look at that, how clean his teeth are. You might notice, though, with he, he has got actually got a dead tooth. Look, see his big tooth there? No, no good. I'm trying to show you their teeth. It might be a bit easier with, with, with Stanley's teeth. Yeah, nice and nice and clean now. Look at that, look. Really clean. And that's that's the advantage of being able to uh, let them have fresh bones. So we've got a bit of news about Stan this uh, today. Um, good news, but also sad news in a, in a way. Um, Stan goes to rehoming next Wednesday, which is which will be good. You know, it's it's, it's sad to see him go because he, he's like I said before, he's been. A, big part of our ground family but it's, it's good news for him because he you know he'll get to he'll get a nice home and a nice sofa and, and a nice family because all the all the um all, all the uh rehoming when they go for rehoming all the houses are, that they go to are vetted first so he's not just going to go to any old one he, you know it's people who people who care for them and, and will look after them and that that's you know, it's all it's all vetted first, which is a good thing. You know, so we know that you know we know that wherever he ends up, will, will be a nice place for him. Won't it, hey Stanley? Hey Stan, you'll be missed, won't you? But you'll have a nice home. You'll have a nice home. Busy day today. We're off to toaster. Two runners, one trailer, and uh, big Stan's coming with us as well. He's got to have his stitches out. Um, Fortunately, Joe's going to help me today, so it makes it a little bit easier for me. But uh, I've got to rub the dogs down now and get everything prepared for, for racing this afternoon. Just preparing Jack for racing. Um, I'll start off by washing his, washing the feet first. I'll wash, wash the feet. And when I wash the feet, I just rub down this in, which is uh, Musha's Secret. It's like, a, it's like a Vaseline type. Stuff and it just stops any um, any sand burns or anything like that. So I'll, I'll wash the feet down and then show you what I do next. Just every leg, just lift up. Cloth on it in the warm water. Give it a bit of a clean of the medicated shampoo in, in there as well. 
That's it, get any dirt off that he might have picked up when we're out on his morning walk. That too clean, is it, Jack? <laughs> That's good, nice and clean. And his foot's clean. Got the musher secret on, right in there between the toes. Like I say, it's like a Vaseline. Rub it in properly on all these pads. Rub it into all the pads nice and nice and deep. There we are. That's that's it and right in between the pads. That's it, and do that on all four feet. Right, that's his um, that's his feet all done. Now I spray uh, a liniment into him now and rub this in thoroughly. Make sure I get it right under his chest muscles and down his legs. This is called a uh, Virginian Amber massage oil in there. Once I spray it, I'm going to rub it right in, get it right into his coat. Right underneath everywhere. Really give him a good massage, get it nice and, and like I say, under his chest muscles on the top of his legs there, the muscles there. Now, when that's all rubbed in, lift up the legs, make sure they're nice and flexible, lift them right up, right up into his body there, and stretch it out like that. He's stretching all his muscles, bring it back there. And then lift his foot again, nice and tight, into his body. Stretch it out again. I do this three or four times on each leg. Just stretch him out properly. And then his head, lift his head right up. Like that. And that way, just make sure there's no problems with his neck. And same the other way, so he's not fully stretched out that way. Then turn his body to the side, stretch him that way. So stretching his shoulders. There we are. There we are, and that's the front part done for now. Now his back end, it's the same process. Spray him down. On the inside of his legs as well. Make sure we get the inside of his legs done. And up by his gracilis. Around his hocks. And then we have to rub that in thoroughly as well. So give him a good massage all over again with it. When that's all rubbed in, we stretch his legs out. So we get his legs nice and tight, right up nice and tight. Stretch out full, full stretch. Hold it so he's stretching his muscles. Not too much so it hurts him or anything. Yeah, but then lift it do that two or three times each leg, maybe more. You lift the leg up, right up tight, so you know as it's at full bend if he's running, stretch it out, full capacity, up again. Like I say, different people do different things. You know, um, prepare their do dogs in different ways. So this is the way I've always done mine, and and yeah, you know, there's no like I said previously, there's no right or wrong to it. Good boy. What I do now as an extra precaution is I um, I use this, um, it's, well this is actually a new one to me, this MSN, M 
SM, sorry, uh, trainers rope. It's a it's a menthol rope. It's um, but because of hock and wrist injuries, I'll go that a little bit extra with with things like this. I'm a little bit uh, probably go over the top with it a little bit on the fact that I like to um make sure they're all you know the the, the wrists and hocks are have that little bit extra treatment so i use this i use this stuff on on, on that which obviously warms the muscles that a little bit extra than the um than the liniment but it's more of a it's more of a cream but this is this is what i do like i say there's there's no there's no right or wrong to any of that and i've also i've already put the liniment on but with wrists and hocks i um I'll go the extra mile, as they say. I mean, we used to have a we used to have um, a muscle rub called uh, Trainer's Choice, but they've stopped making it, and apparently this is the the next best thing to it now. So this is it's it's just it's like I say, there's no right or wrong. People probably think I'm a bit mad doing this. It's a bit much after I've put the other rub on, but. I just um, it warms it, it warms the wrists and that, and it's just something I do. It, it's got that menthol, very quite a strong menthol smell to it. But um, that's it. That's his wrist done. Just now his hocks. In ground racing, wrists and hocks are probably the most um, notorious thing for. Uh, serious injuries but that's probably why I do it I suppose but massage it right in right into right into the toes as well so they don't have no toes and I also do what that what the back of that ligament there as well I mean obviously other trainers do different things and probably better ideas than what I've got but this is the way this is the way I do things and it's, it's my choice really to do it this way. Right up into the toes again. And with the access on my hands, just rub it into the back of the legs, over the top of the ligament <laughs> they've already had. Right, when that's all done, Get a dry towel and just give him another just a extra rub over there. Right in there on the chest muscles. Warm the wrists at the back as well. Once that's done, stretch them out again. Same with the back end, extend it as much as I can, hold it for a, a few seconds, back up again, do it a couple of times. That's Jack all done. Just give him a quick brush down. Whole process normally takes about 20 minutes. 20 minutes a dog. But um Yeah, just want to give his back a little rub. Let's go down the spine. He'll let you know if he's got any injuries. But basically, that, that's the whole process. Two more to do. 
That's the dogs all rubbed down now. Um, they're all ready to go. Just got to get myself ready now. Um, hopefully that's give you a little bit of an insight into uh, preparing a dog for racing. Obviously, I mean, it's only, uh, you only see briefly, but you know, I mean, uh, if I could spend the whole 20 minutes showing how it's how it's done, it would take up the whole vlog. But hopefully it's uh, it's been a bit more of an insight into how, how I do things. Like I said previously, people, different trainers will do it different to what the way I do it. And there's no, there's no rights or wrongs to it. And um, anyway, hopefully it's, uh, it, it's, it showed you a little bit more. All right, back with back with Paddy again. Hopefully, get his trial today. He missed out last week. We're all set to go. Fingers crossed, everything goes to plan. Just going down with Jack for his race. Hopefully he goes all right. We're a bit disappointing with um, with Paddy. Obviously he broke down in his trial, which was not good at all. So that's unfortunate, but uh, hopefully we'll have a little bit more luck with Jack. Uh, so really gutted about Paddy, but um, it is what it is. And we tried everything we could to get him back. Unfortunately, it wasn't to be. But Jacko's got a chance now, so so Jacko puts a smile back on her face. That was my only question. I thought that trial was brilliant that she's done, that 15.83. And she also uh, ran a couple of nice trials before that, but you, I just thought, let's, let's see what happens with a few other dogs in the race. But she certainly got the ability. Yeah. It was, a, it was a little bit of sort of a stick the finger in the air and see which way the wind's blowing with her. And uh, I thought I'd rope in. We'll see in a very short time. Colonel? John, it must be said here at uh, Toaster. Joint favourites, two and five. Leeds will burst open. Three got the best break. Flower's a big fella. But look at the two. Drum do it, Jewel will try and join it. Back to the five, their log is night. Then back to one, Cantona the Jack, and six, Lambing Cavalier, the back marker. Three will take it to the wild. Flower's a big fella from your two and one. That's how they're going to finish. Three's your winner. Two, possibly one back in third. Looks like a Ted Rogers to me, a 3-2-1 pars, a big fella. Well, I'm going to shut up and let Anna, the next best winner, talk you through this. Third place for Jacko in a sprint. I'm happy with that. I'm happy with third place for him. He's done well. You know, he's never going to be a sprinter in a million years. He was, and he was he was miles in front of the pickup. So he's opened his legs up, had to stretch his legs out. So happy with that. He's done well. He's done well. Nice pace. Looking good in that coach, <laughs> Pretty special sort and they had high hopes as well for him but I think he picked up a good couple of injuries but he's getting a lot of bitches now um, and he's going to be a force to, to be reckoned with going forward I would imagine in the um, stud business. Well let's see if he has a winner here over to the Colonel. All clear has been given. The hair's running for this A2 joint favourites on the off traps are two and three. It is your one. Savali belly to the turn to bell to the turn now the one. For, uh, for Potty down the back straight. <clears throat> One more lead with the two chasing hard. Springwell by. Then there's a gap appearing, a yawning gap back to four. Then there's six trying to make a bit of ground with three. Five the back marker. <clears throat> two has now booted clear there. Springwell Bonnie off the turn there for Lawrence Tuffin. And up to the wire, and the blue will beat the one and six. Two, you went at one and six behind Springwell Barney, the winner there for Lawrence Tuffin, taking the A2. Just back from a morning walk. Um, a bit deflated from yesterday, to be quite honest. Um, regards Paddy, he's okay in south. He managed to walk with us this morning, and you know, we, it was only a slow walk, we didn't rush things around or anything. He, you know. He managed to walk. He's, he's only limping slightly, but his wrist is quite swollen still. He's on painkillers, which is obviously helps him a lot. Um, yeah, like I say, a bit deflated by it all because I honestly thought he would, he would, he would, he was going to be okay, you know. And, and when I hand slipped him, you could tell between the first two bends that he, he was feeling something. 
and it's a shame really because he's a lovely dog he's only out six races won three and second three times and you know you know we had big high hopes for him you know but it's not to be and it, and and when 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 they get injured and and break down like he did yesterday it's it's soul destroying really you know i felt i really felt for him you know yeah but um and then obviously jack's race afterwards jack in a sprint which was no as i said previously was never ideal he's never going to win a sprint he's not never going to be a sprinter but he certainly didn't disgrace himself he ran well he ran well to come third and uh, he was he was first in the pickup by a, by a mile, which, which which you know shows that he's you know that, that he's a four bend dog and not a not a two bend dog, you know. Uh, but he ran he ran okay and certainly didn't disgrace himself in that grade of dog. That was you know some quality dogs in that race, so I was really pleased. With regards to Rocky, Rocky was upgraded to um, A two from an A three after last week's win some good dogs in that race too and um unfortunately he got the first bend he got squeezed out bumped around a little bit and his race was over after the first after the first bend um he's not the bravest of dogs i think it would have been a different story if he'd have been out of six because he could have swept around the outside unfazed but as it was he got stuck between the four and the uh, and the six dog uh the meat in the sandwich as they say and he got bumped by the four quite badly, which took him really wide, and it, it was all over after the first race. Um, I was quite happy to, to pack up and go home, you know. It, it was it was just one of the best of days for me yesterday, and for the dogs at all. Um, but we're, we're, yeah, we go again, don't we? We have to go again now, and um, we'll, we'll have a look at what we can do for next week and take it from there. Um, I've had a lot more subscribers this week, which is fantastic. It's getting, it's, you know, I'm getting more and more and, and, and plenty of views. It, so it seems to be really picking off, which I really appreciate because it makes me, it makes it worthwhile when we're doing it. Um, so if you haven't subscribed, uh, please like and subscribe because, I, I, you know, it's great. Thank you very much and um, I'll speak to you soon.